Hey everyone, so I do a ton of uh, groundwork with him and I wanted to show you a little bit of it today. So this is going to be us uh, doing our warm up on the lunge and this is how I like to work with this particular horse. And um, then I'll show you what I like to do with the bandages, which I've been talking about bandages for lunging for a little while now. So anyways, um, let's watch him go and uh, we'll try and go through each step and why I chose that. Okay. Ready? Yes, yeah, so you notice too, I have not going through a set of tools. Um, I like to make sure he watches where he goes because he has a real tendency to drift off and uh, focus. You have to watch where he goes and what plan ahead. Now I should point out too that this horse spent three out of his first six years on stall rest for various injuries. He was very difficult to handle and there was some mishandling happening. He just didn't, wasn't able to develop like a normal horse and he definitely did not build any core strength. So we actually looked at some um, muscle issues and neurological issues and it came down to decide that really he just needs to build his core strength up. So recently he has started this very strange nickering at me and when I come up to change his uh, tack, which I really don't know what to make of it because it sounds an awful lot like, um, don't you dare, don't you dare. Um, it sounds an awful lot like a cult that might want to... At any rate, I'm not super comfortable with the sound of it, although you haven't made any action. So, but I am trying to be a little more careful. Give me a first second. Turn. Okay, so I hope you can see that. I have this tied under his butt. I have this tied and just a quick release knot. Okay, so I just wanted to show this a little bit. Um, like close up. So all they are are, are quick release knots. Let's see. Okay. And then um, it's just like a good, you know, bungee cord. So it's just so you can just feel it. And then I have the lunge line. And that helps him stay organized. So I okay. want to point out too, he is a gelding and he has been forever and as far as I know nothing's changed. So I, I don't know if there's a hormonal issue or if it's just, a, it's just like very weird. But anyways, Junior, good boy. So I haven't attached on both sides. You can see very, very stretchy. This is um, to give him some confidence to the bridle. When I started, I just started with the butt and just, just a few times it didn't and it didn't matter how well he was going in it i just gave him a few times and gave him a break the hard part for them is the downward transition part um and that does tend to be um i think that's the hardest part at the beginning and they, it takes a minute for them to get coordinated with their back legs under them and then they start to look stronger and so i i spent a few weeks just with the back band here first before I ever even considered this. In fact, probably six weeks before I started this. So he's had a break and um, the main thing is that he just has kind of a dead contact. So I want him to be able to move it around and get some confidence and get some independence from it. So anyways, let's see how he goes. Ready?
and carry um, scissors just in case or a knife or something just in case because you never do know and um, but really it's just as easy as that it is annoying having so many like moving parts um, and you just have to try and organize as best you can. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching Junior, and um, have a great day. So I wanted to update on um, the video that I took a couple of weeks ago when um, I was talking about him nickering at me in an odd way. And so I think he just doesn't know how to have like a friendly relationship and not treat me like another horse so um we have been working on that this week but um he's doing really well and i also wanted to show you look at the fog isn't that beautiful um anyways so have a great day and um i'll talk to you later bye